Hey, good afternoon everybody and uh, happy Memorial Day weekend. I hope everybody's having a safe and relaxing holiday weekend. Uh, today, or this afternoon right now, we are waiting on a shuttle to take us back to uh, Shenandoah. We should be back on trail this afternoon, continuing our journey. Won't be a full day today, but we'll get some miles in and keep heading in that right direction. So excited to be back on trail. Definitely got uh, nice and refreshed over these last couple days. Currently, uh, we're sitting at a Ford dealership in, in Front Royal. Um, Bandit was able to uh, procure a, a rental car here and uh, was able to get back and, and uh, take care of business. and. Uh, now we're just returning it and looking forward to get back on trail. So hopefully the weather holds. The uh, skies are kind of patchy clouds today, but I think it's uh, scattered showers maybe today and today uh, today and tomorrow, and uh, maybe some rain showers coming in on Monday. But uh, hopefully nothing severe. I know out west they've been having uh, some tough weather, but uh, I think that we may. Uh, hopefully escape most of that but uh, we're gonna see where it takes us keep bringing you the journey so we'll see you down trail thanks for hanging in there appreciate your patience and we'll talk to you soon hey afternoon everybody we made it back on trail uh, and uh, had a little bit of a fiasco with our shuttle driver uh, on where our location was that we were getting picked up from so it delayed us a few hours um, we were thinking we might have to just get back on the trail at Front Royal and do Sobo to get back here but uh, as we were walking down the street nice gentleman Richard stopped and offered to give us a ride to the trailhead and ended up giving us a ride all the way back to where we got off so super thanks to richard for helping us out and getting us back on trail it's a really great piece of trail magic that gave us one less thing to worry about in our whole uh, uh event this last uh, few days so but uh thrilled we're back on trail now and getting a late start around three three o'clock or so so we're gonna see what kind of miles we can knock out between here and and uh, where the rest of the afternoon takes us. But uh, you know, HT's holding true to form in that you <laughs> you can never count on a plan. The only thing you can count on is plans will change. Sometimes by the hour, sometimes about a minute. But uh, where there's a will, there's a way. And we definitely have the will to keep trucking, so that's what we're gonna do. So yeah, see y'all down trail. All right, we've meet, reached another section of the trail that's been burned out. Yeah. Y'all can see where trees are scorched pretty bad and yep. the underbrush is pretty much just now coming back. So this area here was just recently burned.
like a roll coming up maybe. Yeah. Got a little bird's nest up here. Oh, he just flew off. Scared him off. Mama's probably got some babies in there. Only other thing. Well, not what you think. Made it to Elk Wallow Wayside. And they closed at five o'clock. Uh, we knew, we knew it was gonna close down. We we're gonna miss that, but uh, stopping and just looking and scouting out a good place to camp. They got a uh, bathroom over here. Uh, looks like we got pending rain clouds up ahead, so. He's trying to get settled in before it rains. Okay, everybody, we got a little side trail over here. Yep. Just about seven tenths past the wayside, we found a place to camp. So we found the note I was talking about. Oh, I'm just recording. And uh, We got three tents in here. This uh, area can hold up to four, but uh, we squeeze, squeeze three in here. Not really the le most level campsite, but it's going to do. Just trying to get some grub in and get ready to settle down for the night. And get some miles in tomorrow before rain chances kick up, so... But that'd be all for tonight. We'll see you in the morning. Take care.